Veterans counseling veterans honored fallen soldiers from four major wars, including the Civil War, World War I, World War II, and the Korean War. These are all wars that were fought during segregation, and oftentimes black veterans were buried without a marker. Despite that, the group still honored them with wreaths. On National Wreaths Across America Day, Ellsworth Williams wanted to remember soldiers he says are often forgotten. You know, when you came home, it was, a seg it was a segregated country, and you're going to go in black cemeteries. And the cemeteries are so small that you couldn't fit in it. So they, because of that, they would just put five or six of them in one, side, one, one grave site with no marker. As a result, he says many fallen black veterans did not receive the proper recognition they deserved. Back in 1948, President Harry Truman issued an executive order to desegregate the armed forces. That opened the door for the first African-American to graduate from the Naval Academy, retired Rear Admiral Larry Chambers. Without that desegregation order, I probably couldn't have gotten into the Naval Academy. Despite segregation, the 93-year-old recalls the camaraderie while in service. Your life depended on a man next to you and his on you. Skin color was not a great concern in the trenches. Today, he travels the country educating younger generations about his 35 years in the Navy and the importance of honoring those who served. This is honoring all of the fallen heroes, and, and it's a good thing. Dozens gathered at Tampa's Memorial Park Cemetery to lay wreaths for black veterans who died during segregation. Each wreath represented wars fought between 1861 and 1953. We're always in the military, never forgotten. Leave no, no, leave no person behind, no man, woman behind. It's a tradition Williams hopes will continue outside of the annual Wreaths Across America celebration. And the cemetery dedicated to black veterans here at Memorial Park will turn 100 next year. The group plans to host a rededication in May. Reporting in Tampa, Fadia Patterson, Spectrum News.